we're going to wait, make and back out before they're caught. Absolutely. I mean, we've been seeing that, like, it's essentially them playing, like, their experience against Batriders, their experience against Night Stalkers, and now it's actually daytime. Uh, but they are going to be able to find Goldblack on the side of the Ravage Pitchfold, and it hits on 4-2 with the Dark Hub Rolls, but over the top, Team Spirit has a smoke in his GH, and Posh is still going at it with Ramses, but he's down to just clown on Ramses as soon as he gets his hands off. Oh! Take him out, he's Goldblack as well. Hyper trying to control up Pasha as best as possible. Pasha continues to go for more, but the Sunstrike will finish him off. A 3-for-3 three three exchange somehow. Uh, but Go Black, they do manage to keep the gem. Afterlife, to die here. Solo doesn't have another Ice Blast, but Mag is going to be yeah. able to catch him. The Sprout blocks him out. The Iceberg can't really stop that. Yeah, so all in all, I mean, that's a uh, four for three in total. Obviously, Iceberg is the one to profit from it once again, but he's already by far the top of his team's net worth. What they really need on the side of Team Spirit is for the Dark Hop to live longer, and Mag is actually going for this one. Well, they it's, don't have enough for the Ice Blast. Now he's picked it up, but it's unfortunately a bit too late. Iceberg's already got himself out. Didn't have any counter vision, so... Iceberg knowing this may... Uh... They actually try and go for the quick pick off on Solo. Yeah, I think he's tempted. Blink and the Cold Snap should do it. I mean, really, what's a Furion going to be able to do with that? Uh, especially with uh, Cold Snap and Forge Spirits already out, and your Scythe of Ice was probably on cooldown in the beginning when uh, Invoker jumped him. Like, even if Invo uh, even if Furion was dead.